In this video, I will compare Ryk versus Monday.com and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and your needs. So I'll compare them in terms of features, pricing, customer reviews, and tell you overall which one I think is best for who. So first, let's get started with their features and let's start with Ryk. So under the solutions here, you can see what it is for. So the use cases include these four main ones, but then also some more, which you can see right there. But the main ones are resource management, project management, workflow management, and task management. Now on top of that, it has some more, but these four are the main ones. Now monday.com, if you click products, you will see they have different products and the one that is most similar to Rike is going to be the work management. Although they also have a dev product, service and CRM. Now the service one is pretty new, but in this video, I will mainly focus on the work management since again, that is most similar to Rike. Now you will see right here what it can do. So you can do project management, task management, client projects, business operations, resource management, portfolio management, goals and strategy, requests and approvals, or you can create your own. So it also has a lot of similar features to that of Rike. Now, if you look at their pricing, you will see that Monday's project management tool has a free plan available for up to two seats. Then the basic plan will cost nine euros per seat per month. And this is for unlimited free viewers, unlimited items, five gigabytes of file storage, prioritize customer support, and you can create a dashboard based on one board. Then you have the standard plan, which is most popular at 12 euros per seat per month. And here you get some more additional features. You also get access to automations and integrations. Now in the pro plan, which is 19 euros per seat per month, you will get access to private boards, chart view, time tracking, formula column, more automations and integrations, and you can create a dashboard that combines 10 boards. Then the enterprise plan has custom pricing and you will get access to some additional features. Now comparing this to Rike's pricing, you can see Rike also has a free plan available for teams that are getting started. Now, if you are looking for a free tool and you have more than two users, then Rike is the winner because with Monday.com, you can only have up to two seats right here and with Rike, you can have more. Then the team plan right here, which is for growing teams, will cost $9.80 per user per month. And here you will get access to a lot of features. Now you will get 50 actions per user per month in terms of automations. Now here on monday.com you see you can get 250 actions per month in the standard plan. And this is 12 euros and the plan right here where you get 50 is $9.80. So despite this plan being a little bit more expensive, it does get you a lot more automations. Then the business plan is for all teams across an organization at $24.80 per user per month. And here you will get access to 200 actions per user per month. So that is quite expensive. So if you want to use a lot of automations, then monday.com is a lot more affordable, especially since in the pro plan, you get 25,000 actions per month. Now they also have two plans with custom pricing and that are enterprise and pinnacle. And you can see what you get access to in these plans as well. So before telling you which one I would use and in which specific scenario, let's take a look at their customer reviews. So on G2, Rike has over 3,700 reviews and it scores 4.2 stars out of five. So that's a pretty good score. Now monday.com, you can see it has more than three times as many reviews with 12,276 and it scores 4.7 stars out of five compared to 4.2 on Rike. So Monday.com is liked quite a bit more by their users compared to Rike. However, that doesn't mean that everyone should use Monday.com, although I think most people should. So in the following cases, I would use Rike. I would use Rike if you are looking for a free plan that allows for more than two users, because that is what you can get in Rike. However, in pretty much every other scenario, I would go with the Monday.com work management app. Now, what is great about monday.com is if you want to get access to the Monday Develop product and the Monday CRM and service, it is very easy because it will all just be in the monday.com app. 
And how monday.com is also more affordable compared to Rike. If you bill monthly, then the pro plan right here, which gets you access to pretty much all features, except for some really advanced ones, such as tailored onboarding and multi-level permissions, will cost you 24 euros per seat per month. And here the business plan on Rike, which is $24.80, so pretty much the same price, you still don't get access to a lot of features that are included in the higher plans and you only get 200 actions per user per month while on monday.com in this plan you get 25,000. Now what I also recommend is to look at their integrations because that could also be important although both of them integrate with Zapier so you can integrate with pretty much anything. So that concludes this comparison of Rike versus monday.com. Now if you want to get started with either of them, you can use the links down in the description to get started completely for free. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.